You are looking live at Jacksonville's newest vaccination site, Gateway Town Center on the north side. Teachers of all ages can now get the shot there. Other school employees, bus drivers, and child care providers are also included. This week, President Biden moved teachers to the front of the line. They do not need an appointment to get the vaccine at this new site on the north side. The president wants schools nationwide to reopen. He says teachers' access to the vaccine is a major health and safety priority. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett begins our coverage on the pandemic. Jim? In the last, I'd say, 15 minutes, this line formed around here, but we're learning something new about this line. These really aren't the teachers and the, those that are 65 and older getting in. These are people who are hoping that there's going to be some leftovers on there. At the front of the line, they are allowing those who qualify right now, including teachers of all ages, to go on inside and get that vaccine. This is the busiest this has been here all day, and it's going to get even busier as we wait and see what happens as those teachers get off school. 81-year-old Betty Johnson wasn't so sure about getting the vaccine. I was a lot reluctant. Why? I, I don't know. I heard so much about it. But something happened recently that changed her mind. One of my neighbor's son died, young man. So it kind of pushed me, helped me. So I'm here. Betty joins this group of people at Gateway who met the governor's latest requirements to get the vaccine. We also went back to the two satellite vaccine sites recently opened in Jacksonville. And while there were no crowds, we did talk to these two teachers who went to the Normandy Community Center on the west side to get the shot. I want my students to be safe. So I think it's very important. During a news conference today, Governor DeSantis talked about teachers and vaccines. He also talked about what he thinks will happen when the age restrictions to get the vaccine are lowered to allow everyone to get the shot. I think there's going to be a much less percentage of 25 year olds that want it than 75 year olds. And that, I mean, honestly, that's sensible because the risk is much different in those. So I don't think you're going to get above 50 percent of people that are under 50. Uh, and I think you may even be less than that. And right now, the governor says 54 percent of all seniors in the state have received at least one shot. You know, the governor also talked about that Johnson & Johnson vaccine, and he believes it's going to be the vaccine of choice for those under 50 years old. And he says he's going to have more on that coming out soon of where that's going to be distributed. One other thing, too, you saw where I was at those satellite sites. Well, we learned just a short time ago as well that the state is considering shifting some of those sites because the turnout there has been so low. At one place yesterday, it was only 17 people. So we may see an announcement on that coming soon as well. For now, we're live at Gateway. Jim Piggott, Channel 4, The Local Station.